Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Hi there, girly. You gonna head bob today? No? Of course not. The camera's running. Uh, this rhino viper was uh, in her hut last week uh, uh, hiding. So I didn't even attempt to feed her, although if I stuck something in front of her log, I'm sure that she would have probably grabbed it. And yesterday, uh, when I was uh, feeding some others, uh, uh, she actually came to the window and was head bobbing me. And uh, just today she's just going to be stubborn and not do that. But today I do actually have something for her. There we go. And for those of you who have seen her work before, like other large bittis, once they grab the animal, they raise it off the ground so the legs can't uh, get any traction and escape uh, um, the grasp. Although, I really don't think, unless she opened her mouth uh, and let the animal go, the animal would not be able to, to get free. So the big bit is uh, this uh, rhino viper here and pink get fed really sort of every other week, sometimes every third week uh, uh, because they're just uh, uh, big stationary ambush predators. They don't burn much energy. Uh, it gets, a lot of it gets converted to fat. I prefer to feed these smaller uh, uh, chicken chicks, stale chicks, uh, because it it gives them a, a treat um, and it doesn't add a lot of calories uh, to their system. Whereas a small rat uh, has a lot more mass and adds more calories uh, to the diet. So we'll just uh, let her consume her. Uh, Food there. Miss Rhino Viper, are you hungry? Huh? Are you hungry? No? Yeah, you are. You got a chip last week, though. Don't tell me you didn't. I gave you something and you gobbled it down. And as proof, it's going to be on this same video, right? Oh, yes, it will be. Huh? Yeah. I would open the door, but either you, you would strike out, or you would get false hopes and then go and pout because you didn't get anything. Don't tell me you know. Huh? Are you hungry? Huh? You look pretty thick. You look pretty thick. You know, you don't like people over you. She would immediately uh, stop bobbing her head if I stood up and stuff. All right? Yep. Yeah, we have to be down at your level. All right, well, maybe I'll give you something else. Hmm? Yeah, normally, you know, she's not out in here. We have a thermometer and Humidity uh, temperature sensor in her cage because her cage seems to get awfully hot during the day of summer. I'm glad that the, the heat wave is pretty much broken because I had to replace the air conditioner in here. That was over $400. And in the afternoon, the, this is the sunny part of the house and it, uh, it, it heats up. Um, 
you know, to turn it down to like 69 and 68. And even then, some days we had to shut the lights off in the cage to uh, uh, to make sure that her cage, uh, the safety set point that sends an alarm from the sensor is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, we don't want her to get much over that. I mean, she's a semi-aquatic snake and, you know, she, she basks in the sun for sure, but, you know, probably doesn't like temperatures much over 90. So it's set to 80 to warn us because we don't want the room getting too hot, right? Huh? Are you, you looking disappointed now, huh? I know, you got a chick last week. You want a rat. Mr. Taipan got a rat today because he just shed and he didn't eat last week. You had something to eat. Don't tell me no. Right? Huh? I love the picture I have of her with her head sticking out of the cage. When I, when I took it from the side. Her horns are just so majestic and, and nearly perfect. Um, so. We have other fish to fry, so I'm going to go, but I will bring her back something to eat so she's happy. Hi there. I told you when we came back she would be pouting. Are you pouting? Huh? You didn't get anything before? Notice I'm staying well back from the edge of the cage. I might have to fall on my ass here in a minute just to get out of her way. All right. You know, see, the thing is, folks, most people overfeed their snakes. Um, in the wild, she only eats a few times a year, um, and it's really not healthy to overfeed them because they basically come down with the same sort of diseases that plague humans when they overeat. Um, the only snakes I feed on a very regular basis, or sort of what I call power feed, are the newborn babies and the mothers who have just given birth because they've been off feed for a while. So let's see if we can get her something that she likes to eat without her hitting her face or hitting me. Oh! Ah, I got <laughs> chicken juice in my mouth. Um, remind me not to talk while feeding anymore. Oh, no. Ah. Yeah. She got me back for teasing her before. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Frozen chicken juice. You happy now? Closer. Mm. You don't really like that, do you? That's what you call the stink eye. I used to have a selfie stick that I could attach this to, so my my fingers and hands would be out of harm's way. Go ahead. probably sees the reflection of herself in the lens of the camera. Oh, okay. The meat hooks are running. She's a happy camper. 
It's not a rat. A rat's too big of a meal for you for two weeks in a row. I try to vary what my animals eat. Uh, it's all up to them though. I, I have animals who will only eat rats or only eat mice or only this or only that. But the animals that will eat a variety, I provide a variety of things for them. So they get different kinds of proteins and different kinds of roughage for the digestive tract. Chicken chicks, quail chicks. There's a lattice opening so she can take a breath. Big breath. Now we stop breathing while we shovel it down. You know, eating big meals like this actually compresses, you know, her lungs and her heart as it uh, passes by. I'm wondering how they get away with that. That's really a very interesting physi physiological uh, feature. Um, yeah, when you eat, uh, uh, food passes, you know, behind your heart and into your stomach. Um, but you can't eat things the size of melons uh, because you would suffocate before it became a problem for your heart if you could get that into your mouth in the first place. Which reminds me of a, a meme, a picture I saw, the, a woman who has the largest mouth according to Guinness Book of Records. Uh, I didn't even click on it to find the details because it just looked pretty gross to begin with, so I just sort of ignored it. Now that she's mostly done eating, I'm going to slowly back away and let her finish her meal now that I've disgusted you all with my uh, story from uh, the internet. Okay, girly. I hope you like that.